following program is a discussion with a man whose great reputation lies in the field of type design. Hermann Zaff of Frankfurt, Germany, has brought much distinction to the craft of designing printer's types. At the age of 20, Mr. Zaff was already engaged in the production of his first type, Gilgengart, which was issued in 1940. Since that time, he has produced over 60 types, plus decorative material. Mr. Zaff is also active in writing, having produced several books which are examples of fine printing in addition to being excellent texts on the subject of typography. As a lecturer, he has appeared before numerous graphic arts organizations in both Europe and the United States. Talking with Mr. Zaff will be two faculty members of the School of Printing at Rochester Institute of Technology. Mr. Al Horton, professor in the areas of photomechanical preparation and printing design, and instructor in the art of calligraphy, and Mr. Al Lawson, Professor Emeritus and former Cary Professor in the School of Printing. Mr. Lawson has received national recognition as a lecturer, writer, and historian in the areas of type, topography, and the history of printing. The current Cary Professor at RIT and the 1969 Gaudi Award recipient, Mr. Herman Zah. I was uh, thinking I might ask you uh, regarding calligraphy, what do you think a, a good basic face would be to start people with? I know the opinion of most of those here in the United States and England is with italic based on the chancery. So I thought I might ask what your opinion was on that. I think that's a pretty good base. Absolutely. I would mm -hmm. start with the same way, you see which is a little connected with handwriting anyhow, so which you is. transfer it into a more uh, calligraphic form, mm -hmm. and, uh, and you have uh, possibilities to make swash characters and simplified right. characters for people who are not so skilled in the beginning. Mm -hmm. You need some mm -hmm. advice in this direction that you can start with the structure first, and then you go further into more sophisticated, more mm -hmm. swash characters. And uh, this was my suggestion to start from the handwriting, to use, let us say, to use also the angle of these right. students, not to change it. Mm -hmm. It's very hard if you say you have to change your, your slant. The slope of the letter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A problem you have with left-handed people, you know this. Oh, I know the problem. But we're not going to talk people. about the left-handers now. <laughs> Everything's bad. But let us say, <laughs> say normal, if they have a very a steep handwriting, mm -hmm. it's not easy that they could get into a slant which yeah. we like. Mm -hmm. right. They must have some guide rules to keep always in the same mm -hmm. direction. Or if there are possibilities that you can uh, use handwriting just as they did it before and then mm -hmm. transfer it slowly into a more calligraphic form. Well, uh, Give it a more... Uh, we generally start with it as, a, as an unconnected yeah. script uh, to get the basic forms and then gradually... Is that what you call print characters? Uh, but well, with, a, with a broad edge <coughs> pen only? With a broad edge pen only in, in the beginning. And it's cool they have a, a ballpoint? Well, pretty it's much. In the beginning? <laughs> pretty much. I, I mean, in the, in, the, in the school here. You mean in the grammar oh, school? Oh, yeah, grammar school. In, school. in grammar our public school. schools? Yeah. yeah. As far as I know. Yeah. It's about the only tool yeah. I ever see, mm -hmm. which is pretty <laughs> limiting to the ballpoint, I mean, as a beginning tool, because it's so free to go in any yeah. direction. Beatrice Ward used to have a ballpoint especially made for her with two points. Uh -huh. hmm. Remember? Uh, way back, and then when she would write, then you'd get the, the two strokes, you see, like a, oh. an, an, oh, yes, an, out, yes. an outline. Oh, yes, yes. headlines. Yes, always like an outline. Yeah. Oscar Rod shows that, that, that in his book. With, oh. He yes, says the Roman the letters were, the could have been done yeah. that yeah. way. Yeah. <laughs> no, Paul Point is yeah. not too bad. No. Mm -hmm. I use Paul Point Oh, yes, well, you show it. Oh, I know you do. You show it in your film for... The car yes, company. in the Hallmark yeah. film, you Hallmark see the ballpoint. Film, you see the ballpoint Which yeah. some people don't like, I know. Oh, well, <laughs> uh, well silly though. To, uh, if you can use a, a new tool, which a ballpoint pen is, yeah, to not? effectiveness, uh, there's no reason why you can't. 
Yeah. I go along mainly with the broad edge. I think it teaches a discipline on that, the maintaining <laughs> the angle in the beginning. Uh, actually, we start with a broad pencil. Who's a broad pencil? Oh, uh, I like to start with a broad pencil. Then I don't run into the problems with the pen itself right in the beginning. And in it adapts itself. Uh, oh, quarter of an inch? Maybe. No, I usually just have about a 2B, <laughs> standard 2B drawing pencil. Mm -hmm and then just get the wedge shape. And the thing we don't run into there is all the problems with the pen right in the beginning. And also, left-handers can adapt because it'll go down to their yeah. uh, angle, or I guess skew would be the proper term there. Adapt itself pretty mm -hmm. much to either right or left. How many left-handers do you have in percentage in this country? It's Quite a lot. Usually, I, I think somewhere around 10% which ran a little high this year. I think they say usually it's about six or seven percent of the population. I was running a little high in one class, <laughs> almost all in one, one group, <laughs> which is unusual. But there are no instruction book for left-handers in I do have I do have some. Yeah? American uh, we, we got together quite a few notes from a number of left-handed calligraphers, and uh, Fred Eager printed them. Mm -hmm. So we use that as a base, and each one has a, their own individual opinion about whether they use a left oblique pen or just how to angle a paper or what have you. And it it's works like out a left-handed well. composing <laughs> stuff. <come on. laughs> yeah, left-handed left anything. Picture, yeah. If your baseball <laughs> teams is also a problem. Right, right. Not Do if you can some? get the ball across the plate. Yeah. I wanted to ask you too, in conjunction with that, in. In regard, as you know, Father Kaddish was recipient of the Gaudi Award here a couple of years ago. And I just wondered uh, uh, what your opinion was in regard to his theory on the, on the uh, or origin of the seraph. Do you subscribe pretty much to his theory, or do you maintain the chisel was the answer to it? No, I think uh, that he started, Joe, uh, said that, uh, a sculpture started with mm -hmm. this broad brush, mm -hmm. broad-shaped mm -hmm. brush. Maybe mm -hmm. this is correct? Yes, yeah, he uses brush. the brush, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Painted uh, the you, you see the it in, uh, in inscriptions in uh, Pompeii, still. Mm -hmm. There's right. an exhibition now in, 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 in uh, Boston, do you know it? No, I hadn't seen yeah. it. This uh, material from Pompeii brought over, uh -huh. great exhibition. Here, Case Hoyt printed a catalog. Mm -hmm. But we have not to go into this. Mm -hmm. But I want to say that uh, I think all these inscriptions first have been done quite quickly with a broad brush. Mm -hmm. And then they chiseled it out. For you have to, to make a tracing, as we do mm -hmm. in these days. Right. Before you start, you don't, don't sure. just cut mm -hmm. into a stone big wall. Yeah. <laughs> for you have to find out the proportions and mm -hmm. all this. So it's the best way to do it. And mm -hmm. And there must be a, a, a tradition in the in the Roman days, for you see inscriptions very well done also in other places outside of Rome, right. Germany and Switzerland. You have mm -hmm. France, and uh, by simple soldiers. Mm -hmm. There haven't been art school training of these people, mm -hmm. but just how it could be done quickly and very nice right. proportions. You mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. Besides the Trajan columns, there are lots of good inscriptions and. Yes, well, they had good right. models so that people mm -hmm. learned. They saw lettering on buildings, uh, which was done in the right proportion. They gradually, their eyes became adjusted to mm -hmm. what was good proportion. Yeah. Right. yeah. That made it easier to teach uh, <laughs> graphics under these conditions. Well, it's easy. are sometimes very big, right, these yes. characters. And very, very large. And no tracing paper, I think, was around. Not that I, I know. don't think so. So mm -hmm. the only thing was just to use a brush, put it in ox blood or something, and mostly it was red. Mm -hmm. There's inscriptions on walls. So you think basically then the, the person doing the uh, actual incising of the letters was following a pattern yeah. that was, yeah. was drawn with the serif uh, I think there was as a, a part a, of the structure? A, a code, uh, uh, how you say, if some rules are given from one generation mm -hmm. to the other, like in the old days with uh, proportions of uh, architecture. Mm -hmm. so, uh, you know, in Germany we have these uh, cathedrals which are right. 
in proportions mm -hmm. all together. So it's not just if they build it this high or so as you do it with a skyscraper. Mm -hmm. If you have enough money, you have 20 floors. If yeah. you have more <laughs> money, you can put on 38 floors <laughs> and so But in these days, really, all these have been in proportions together, like mm -hmm. a page of the Gutenberg Bible. It's mm -hmm. Every margin is right. in proportion to each other, and you know mm -hmm. this book by Rosarivo who said all is based on number three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, there have been, of course, a number of so-called theories of design. Yes. Uh, and, and the I dynamic think, symmetry, right. the yeah. Murata system, <laughs> and so forth, yeah. that uh, uh, can tend to be crutches, but they're useful because uh, they do. But follow. I think they, they mm -hmm. must have some rules, like proportions in the in columns, you see, uh, mm -hmm. Greek columns, Roman columns, right. 1 to 10, 1 to 12, mm -hmm. so right. the same proportions well, you find. The golden rectangle concept, yes. Pythagoras' right. theory. And you and find so. the stem mm -hmm. 1 to 10 to yeah. the height. Right. It's mm -hmm. the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you see, those, it's such simple information they had, therefore right. they got good proportions out of their whole. I think it's one of the secrets which has no written. Well, it was just handed down. Yeah. That's the unfortunate part that as with Rigi, where he actually wrote the operina yes, and he gave the, the rules of exactly. drawing the letters. We have no such thing with yeah. the Roman Majuscule. Well, I just wondered perhaps what you thought about uh, no, I think he the is, difference is, is, in opinion on the formation of the seraph, <coughs> where most have said it was a result of the stonecutter's necessity Of for course, finishing. I think it was... Uh, I think the final form was done by the Sissel. The same mm -hmm. is if you, you transfer, uh, let us say, uh, handwritten forms of the old manuscripts into type. Right. You see, mm -hmm. the serifs with a pen are different as the serifs done with a graver. Mm -hmm. You see, the, the, the material is really formed by the, yeah. by the tool. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. In all, and not, it, it may be, it's mm -hmm. not uh, that they wanted to, to change. It mm -hmm. was just coming out in a better way. It was easier to do in mm -hmm. this way, to use it this way, instead of really following the, the pen character. Mm -hmm. So they made uh, uh, the serifs in other way as the pen is told. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. The same with some would be transferring an artist drawing to a block or a wood block artist. Wood engraving, yes. yes. linoleum. That you'll right. get the wood engraver possibly bringing some of his own ideas into the overall pattern. Yes, I think yes. you well, see. That presents another thing with Arigi. <laughs> we aren't seeing Arigi's no. calligraphy, we are seeing the an interpretation and a wood uh, engraving. Yeah. Right. Not very well done. Yes. Well, uh, <laughs> he must have approved it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's right. But you see the form in copper plates are different from forms which may be mm -hmm. are done in wood. Mm -hmm. you see, this, mm -hmm. The material and the tool, I think, has mm -hmm. a big influence, and as we have now with ballpoint, mm -hmm. you see, the influence of ballpoint to the characters right. is different to if you use a, a broad edge pen. Yeah. Well, your venture type was what, based on uh, well, what my the, handwriting. the mm -hmm. handwriting style. It was blown style. up and sure. retouched mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and creased mm -hmm. into these units. 18 mm -hmm. units, which I said is not perfect. <laughs> well, you, you feel now then that uh, a type designer no longer has to be restricted to unit sizes of width. Oh, you, I think in these days uh, still you have to, to base your design on the uh, simplest units. You see, 18 mostly is adapted mm -hmm. by all these new uh, photocomposing right. systems, but some of them moved into 36 or 54, and 54, mm -hmm. I think, would be absolute ideal. Mm -hmm. But not all can do this in the counting problem. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think in a few years, nobody would use 18 units anymore. You can divide it very easy. You mm -hmm. count 18, you can count also 36 divided. Of course. In, in the three, you have 54. It's mm -hmm. so easy to do. Mm -hmm. But it's in the old days, old days, it's not the right term, maybe. <laughs> uh, last, uh, five years ago, it was a, a computer space problem. Mm -hmm. We have not so much space to count. For storage, yeah, yes, for storage. storage. Yeah. Well, now in 69, and you were here, we discussed uh, some of the problems relating to the transfer of thinking from metal to oh. film. Uh, now, in this nine-year interim, do you think there's been a lot of improvement that would favor the designer? 
Mm. That's a good question, but <laughs> as opposed to what was occurring at that time. Mm. No, I think the problems of '69 are still the problems of '78. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, in '69, most firms just transferred metal into film, used the same uh, alphabet design, mm -hmm. and put it on a grid for photo composition. Mm -hmm. And of course, it is not the right way. Uh, you can do much better design proportions. You can much better uh, have forms with current letters like mm -hmm. F. Maybe I show it here. Mm -hmm. On a linotype, you have to bring in the <coughs> F this way. In photo composition, you can make F like this. And if you transfer this F in the photo composition, is not using the possibilities of the new tools. Uh, but many well, that, that, that also brings down something that seems to me very annoying and what reading I've been doing recently. I know of books that have been photo composed mm -hmm. where they're dropping the ligatures. Right. Mm -hmm. Even though they have the facility for producing them. Yes, I think the ligature problem comes from this new uh, fashion, I would say, of uh, minus spacing. Mm -hmm. You see, in the old days, the old masters, they give precise instructions how mm -hmm. a type should look, the distance between right. each character, yes. mm -hmm. which is important for reading legibility mm -hmm. and all these things. But in these days, nobody's thinking about this. Think as narrow, the as narrow as of possible. Type yeah, yes. and this mm -hmm. Madison Avenue. Mm -hmm. uh, idea that it should look compact and uh, that each character is touching each other together and right. you get a lot of extra problems now mm -hmm. if you put let us say in a sans serif if you use uh, <laughs> r and n very close easily you have an m, an m. Yeah. or if you have a z and an l it's very easy a d mm. right you see, yeah. this touching, it, mm -hmm. they like it to do, and it, it looks maybe good, but not for, for legibility and readability. Yes. It's absolutely the wrong way. Yes. And if you right. design a face and you give instructions how it should be in the proportions to each other, each character to each other, and then you reduce it, you cannot make ligatures anymore. Mm -hmm. The ligatures you design for the normal proportions. Yes. And if you, you squeeze it more, the ligature says the eye runs mm -hmm. over the, the character itself. Mm -hmm. Well, that's thing a is little well. bit similar to mm -hmm. what it was in metal. In True. newspapers, metal you couldn't in change newspapers they didn't use no. ligatures, even though they saved keystrokes. Right. But because they might have to let us space the line, mm -hmm. and then they would have to, uh, in the yeah. matrix mm -hmm. on a line, the line casting machine, they'd have mm -hmm. to take the mat out and put the two letters in so they could continue the letter space. Uh, mm -hmm. That time element, you see, killed ligatures in newspapers. Yes, but, but not think, in good composition. Yes, but Al, I think in the future, we have not to do this uh, bad thing of spacing a line as it is done mm -hmm. still. If you look in a magazine, yes. mm -hmm. photo composition or metal, it doesn't matter. That's right. Say space to get it full length. Fill it out. Yeah. Justify. But I think, uh, which <coughs> is my theory, you see, uh, Gutenberg's idea was that every line got has the same length. If Gutenberg would have uh, copied the, the old monks, he would have free running line, yeah. flush left. Mm -hmm. It would be easy. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't need, he uh, would have need uh, 290 characters to make <laughs> this fantastic equal lengths right. of the lines and mm -hmm. also the, spa the word spacing mm -hmm. always the same. Mm -hmm. This is the secret. That mm -hmm. He wanted to have the same word spacing and the same lines mm -hmm. space. So uh, this word spacing, you, he did it only with different widths of, of E and N and, so, and, right. and, and so mm -hmm. and abbreviations and ligatures and so. Logotypes. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you can do this not running into 290. Remember the mm -hmm. Bremer Presse, they did it with, I think, uh, 12 additional characters. Mm -hmm. And they had this beautiful, even 
looking pages, gray Texture, looking pages, not with his uh, holes, mm. and no spacing of mm. a line if it mm -hmm. doesn't fit. Mm -hmm. You see, and I think in photo composition, especially if you use this microprocessors in future, you can program that if you have maybe different widths of characters, different E's, different N's and M's, you can find out if you need maybe an uh, eight point mm -hmm. on the end of your line, you change the E's and the M's and mm -hmm. so just a quarter of a point extra wider and you have a perfect So line. the program will seek out the character. Yeah. This is not a question of a program line, yeah. <coughs> mm -hmm. and I think this could be done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In future, maybe yeah. the firms who has to do this are not happy about the idea in, in the moment, but if you want to go into quality, not just into speed, you see, they always That's operate with question. speed. If some of the salesmen wants to sell a new machine, he says, my machine makes seven million characters. <laughs> yeah, great. Seven million, that means two times your King James version yes. of the Bible. Yeah. yeah. There's but about <laughs> 800,000 words in the Bible. Yeah. Three, 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 three point yeah. four million, I yeah. think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But <coughs> what does it mean? You have to type first mm -hmm. and you make a hyphenation program and the Bible has right. special words and all this before you can run your photo unit. But it, it also <coughs> assumes something that is sadly neglected today and that is it assumes proper training of uh, the eye to know the <coughs> quality and this, what this it is. is. This is a big future problem. Yeah, which brings in the question, yeah. where are the new typographers and type designers coming from? See, no longer can you come from the frame as it used to be. The, mm -hmm. the typesetter became the typographer, right. even though Moxon called them the same thing. A mm -hmm. typographer was a man who knew all of the steps. What's the new term? <laughs> Typographist. Oh, type director <laughs> is a new term. But <laughs> when, you no longer term, do you? when you no longer have that training, <laughs> you see, where do they come from? Where do they at what? I think that's our tea business. Yeah. That well, is like it this. the schools and no of longer course. the trade? But mm -hmm. will, will the firms accept the, then and demand to have mm -hmm. the people who have the knowledge to know what quality is almost instantaneously? I think that's the question. You see. Mm -hmm. Or will they simply be satisfied with anybody who has mm -hmm. nimble fingers and can right. keyboard? Yes, I think uh, in the moment maybe <laughs> say, the quality is not a big question. It's a shaming to say. If well, you look mm -hmm. around and if you look to see right. prospectus of mm -hmm. the new equipment which they offer, first is speed. speed. Yes. Yeah. It's the same if you, 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 mm -hmm. you some people want to, to sell you a car, a Porsche. Mm -hmm. Let me say yeah. a Porsche, this funny German car. Yeah? <laughs> 240 kilometers, uh -huh. that means roughly 180 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. How you can use in America yeah, 180 <laughs> miles an hour if you have speed limits 55? Right. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. For what reason? It's, mm -hmm. it's stupid. Yes. In Germany, of course, we are the only crazy country in which you can drive an <laughs> autobahn full speed, mm -hmm. direct you to heaven or hell or to the next hospital. Mm -hmm. Depends on you. Yeah. Yes. It's, I think after a few years we figure out it's really better to, to slow down speed and we come down to 55 miles, it means. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that's partly one of the reasons for that is, is that it's still a very competitive field the sale right. of uh, new phototype setting systems. Yes, sure. but I think the quality comes very soon into the question. Oh. Oh. And I think I in the moment so. everybody wants to be uh, uh, modern, up to date, he needs, mm -hmm. and he doesn't look really to the essentials, mm -hmm. how the output is. They say, this you can do it, and the old story was you can mix metal and right. film, which is absolutely wrong. You mm -hmm. can't do this, for mm -hmm. you have two different uh, uh, principles. Mm -hmm. In letterpress you have squeezing the ink, you have mm -hmm. additional, to each character's additional mm -hmm. uh, uh, weight. Right. In photo composition, as you know, it, you always reduce, it is over sharpened. Mm -hmm. So if you use, as they did, the same design, mm -hmm. basic design, which they used, let us say, for <laughs> liner type mats, now used on liner film grids, it's two different mm -hmm. typefaces, mm -hmm. absolutely, mm -hmm. looking too mm -hmm. different. Mm -hmm. And I think what also is, in my opinion, not uh, seen by some firms, mm -hmm. the proportions, you see. Uh, uh, in metal mm -hmm. you had this standard line, standard right. alignment, the German standard line which was mm -hmm. so deep. 
remember Futura with his long um, ascenders mm -hmm. and the small right. descenders. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. a beautiful design. It's a new Futura which was redesigned by photo lettering in New mm -hmm. York. With normal proportion, it looks much better. Mm. Yes. And if you, you, you see uh, Futura, of course you can uh, use these uh, old designs on Photocom, but some people do it. They don't see the difference mm -hmm. which you can do things better now. They think it's the cheapest way just to take the same drawings and people want to get the same drawings. So people don't mm -hmm. know this. If they would see the difference, they would at once pick out the better ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, this really means that uh, the possibilities are enhanced for the type designers of the future to create the letters that will follow through their ideas and not be restricted by mechanical considerations. Uh, you have still also restrictions in photocom. Mm -hmm. Don't forget. Uh, you get a lot of freedom, but also they mm -hmm. cut your, your wings a little on mm -hmm. the other side. But you have in, in, in total much more possibilities in photo composition, especially if you go into the next step into the digital storage mm -hmm. possibilities, which you have uh, no unit system, no counting problems, no proportions uh, of uh, limitations of proportions, and you can uh, overlap, uh, let's say, a whole character mm -hmm. without any problem, right. which in some photo composition in the moment is not so easy mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. They can overlap two units, four units, maybe, mm -hmm. but it depends on the system. Each one is different. Well, we're uh, <laughs> in the light of this. Uh, where are the type designers of uh, the 21st century coming from? Mm. I think they, they have to be connected with, uh, with engineering, I would say. Mm. See, uh, let me say this story. As I was uh, <coughs> called for this um, digital designing of typefaces, and I know in the firm there has been a question and some questioning why we need an artist. Mm -hmm. Don't get artists involved in this, mm -hmm. then we got trouble. <laughs> and so they did it by themselves, the engineers. Mm -hmm. After a while they figured out, maybe we ask them, let, let us talk to him. And so they figured out not all artists are crazy people, maybe some <laughs> are normal people, let me say it is. <laughs> and they could talk to us and we could find out ways to work together, you see. So now we have no, I have no problems at all with the engineers. If they tell me mm -hmm. this and this are the possibilities, <laughs> try to get out the best for this uh, way. And uh, so it works. And I think without this technical background, in the mm -hmm. old days, the designer did the drawing mm -hmm. and handed it over to the punch cutter. The mm -hmm. punch cutter did the real the fitting, right. yes. Yeah, the, he sure. did all the fitting. He was right. seldom named. Mm -hmm. Very few we know who was a punch cutter, right. but mostly unknown people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but except the, for we, even Weeb King, and who did many of Gaudi, did yes, the, uh, the Centaur, the Prince, uh, Prince, who did all the Maurice, private types yeah. of sure. Count Scott Dove. But normally, this have, in the 19th yeah. century, we know very few. Mm -hmm. Yes. And fantastic done, mm -hmm. this skilled people which could. Uh, cut these in steel, this 19th century faces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not a question of, of uh, aesthetics now, but just from the, from the skill and from the perfection, mm -hmm. what they could do, cut this in steel. But they were not originated <coughs> by and large. No. Yes, no. but I think the designer normally did a basic drawing, and the preciseness and all the final form was done by the punch cutter. Yes. If you do design in these days for a photo composition, you have to do the work also of the punch cutter. You have to do the proportions, right. the, the fitting. And That's built into your drawings. Yes, in the, mm -hmm. the drawing mm -hmm. must be much right. preciser. Mm -hmm. I need much more time now yeah. for mm -hmm. doing a drawing for a photo right. composition. And therefore, you must know now how the, the possibilities in photo compositions are, mm -hmm. to get some instructions. And the next step, especially if it gets more complicated in the, the digital storage, you must know the limitations and the possibility of all mm -hmm. this electronics. 
and this I think is important that at the next generation of designers, let me say so, they have to know what they can do if laser and all this comes mm -hmm. into the picture, which is on the way, as mm -hmm. you know. Right. So you have not very much uh, uh, time to to trial for trials or just for tests, and so they wanted to have it quickly done. And <laughs> and I think as it was in the past, and therefore I was quite occupied all the time to transfer metal type into photo composition. And the next is mm -hmm. photo composition transferred into this digital or laser. Mm -hmm based drawings mm -hmm. and designs. Does that mean the demise of traditional faces as we know them today, do you think? I think uh, that is a question, you see. Uh, of course, people like to get maybe a caramon, mm -hmm. a so-called historical face, Bodoni and so on. Right. And, uh, but I think we also should find our ways to express our time. For Bodoni didn't. I know you said that in the film. <laughs> yes, right. But I think uh, Bodoni, as he copied uh, Fournier, mm -hmm. you know his. Uh, then until he got to his own style. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. But it it was right. Fournier copied, yes. and, and mm -hmm. I think if he would have done all his design in this direction, nobody would think about Bodoni. Yes. <laughs> but after he discovered <laughs> that his time this change, mm -hmm. late, late uh, 18th century, mm -hmm. the change in, in many things, cultural life, political things, Napoleon and all this, yes. Fran French Revolution, quite a lot of things was going on in Europe at this time. And also in the whole thinking, not this nice, uh, uh, fancy looking Fournier, ornamental mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. And Bodoni went away and was this clear, simple, we say cool, but in some kind, very nice, uh, shaped forms. Morris Collin called it shatteringly hideous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, are you saying then that we may see the day when we'll be reading the Bible in six point sans serif? <laughs> I wouldn't say uh, in sans serif there have been so many tests about uh, readability. You cannot read a whole book in sans serif. I can't. You get I'm tired sure. and monotony, right. I think, yeah. is too much. Mm -hmm. I think you need, uh, the eye needs always that he, he gets uh, mm -hmm. the uh, contrast between thin and thick mm -hmm. and so on. And, mm -hmm. and the guidance of the serifs, I think it's yes. very important. So you think we're, bring, we're yeah. going to hold some yes, I think line here on oh, the yeah. traditional styles. I think so. I think there's some serif uh, uh, fanatics let me say so. Mm -hmm. Everything which is fanatic is wrong, as you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every direction from religious to politics, yeah. <laughs> and these people think everything has to be done in sans serif, then it is modern. It yes, isn't, you see. It's not, no. You no, cannot no, read a Bible in, in sans serif. Six point is impossible anything. Yes. Not when the novelists are getting paid by the word, either. <laughs> yes, it's... 500-page paperback today. Well, I still have the feeling, however, that uh, <laughs> that uh, finding first-rate type designers in the next 20 years is going to be more difficult. Oh, I, I, I would see, agree. See, no, I see no, no problem. I don't think they have the training ground. That, that's what disturbs me. It's very. I think is. I, yes. I think it's difficult to come to that from engineering training, because as you know, engineering training No, no, training I don't mean uh, uh, only uh, engineering no. I think, see, mm -hmm. you see, there are lots of books written about design, about type design, mm -hmm. metal, and all this. I have learned from books. <coughs> sure. And you need some instructions mm -hmm. about the new technology, photo composition, mm -hmm. computerized things, digital storage things. This you can learn. And if there are no schools left, I hope there will be some, <laughs> but if there are no schools left, but there are some books left. Mm -hmm. And if somebody has this, the hand to do things and the ideas to do some new ideas, mm -hmm. uh, put some new ideas into type design, he can read books, start by his own, get some information by engineers, and then he can cook a new typeface, why not? So you're not really cynical about this? No, not no. at all. 
So the, the, you feel there is still an opportunity for the teenage boy uh, to see uh, Hermann Zopf's work uh, in 2009, as Hermann Zopf did uh, Koch's work in exhibition mm -hmm. and got turned on by it all. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? And, even and that's a part of motivation that somebody can go back, just see something. Yes, like, but you see, so uh, excites him that he wants to do something like that. But there's yeah. other question, especially in this country, mm -hmm. for young people if they enter into this area of, of <coughs> designing, alphabet designing, we don't say so much type designing, yes. type is more metal, yes. alphabet designing, mm -hmm. you see there is no protection if they mm -hmm. design oh, yeah. something. Right. I think normally I need mm -hmm. for a, a, a new idea if I have just to redesign something, that's a story, but you have to make mm -hmm. a new design it's quite a lot of time before you really have some characters on paper, right. proportions, what kind, what direction, mm -hmm. which direction you have to go. And uh, I think if you spend some months, let me say just some months, mm -hmm. mostly it's a little more. Sometimes it took one year or so for one design of four different weights. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, and you sell it to somebody, and the competitor sees this typeface, shown the whole alphabet, with a click of a camera, he mm -hmm. can use it. It's, mm -hmm. as it is called here, public domain. Yes. Mm -hmm. Every type design. You know, Gaudi's battle yeah, against right. this yeah. foolish mm -hmm. idea, and we had right. some talks in Washington. We lost the game. Yes. Yeah. I was very pessimistic from mm -hmm. the beginning. Some others have been mm -hmm. optimistic, but they lost the game. <laughs> yes. I yeah. thought that mm -hmm. that was going to actually come across the last time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, why, and w when the patent office got into mm -hmm. it, yes, that they were going to do something. But, but I was the, disappointed. the lobby of the other side is more powerful yeah. than our side. Yes. And <laughs> yes, but I think this is one of the big problems. If a designer spends quite a lot of time, invests time. Of course. He cannot do only, let, I, I cannot do a design maybe. Uh, 12 months in one piece. Mm -hmm. I need some, some money yes. to, to feed my family and to yeah. dress my wife. She wants to be nicely dressed. Yeah. And I cannot say we have no money till uh, the design is finished. Right. So I have to do some other orders between. Mm -hmm. So and mm -hmm. these interruptions are used just for testing and so mm -hmm. So it is. But of course, that's been a history. But to make a, a living on, on design. The history of artists. Yeah. The last uh, really? 40, 50 years, there have been very few exclusive type designers. Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. few. Mostly. Yes. Unless they happen to be, as you had at one time, as the head of typography for a foundry. Mm -hmm. Or the, even the machine companies hired mm -hmm. them as, a, as director of typography. Mm -hmm. They did design and also mm -hmm. saw the thing through the mechanical operations mm -hmm. of making type. But Gaudi didn't have. Uh, uh, much property uh, uh, in, in, in the Bahamas or so? I oh, don't no, know. he wasn't, uh, he wasn't, you call it, ever a rich man, no. Yeah. And despite of being the best right. known type designer alive. But that means you have to do uh, some other professional things beside type design. You cannot make it as a full-time job. You have to do uh, right. maybe book design, as I do, yeah. right. or teaching, mm -hmm. or calligraphy. Yeah. Mm -hmm for programming, which is my new Fill in business now. Yeah. And that. But I think just mm -hmm. concentrate on type design, <laughs> I wouldn't suggest yeah. nobody. Mm -hmm. Besides, well, I'm ask that about calligraphy, too. And yeah. We have to say Can you the make same money on, on, on calligraphy alone? No. no. Even Arnold Bank had to go teaching <laughs> after yeah. being freelance for a long time. Yeah. No, I think there's a time mm -hmm. for artists is not good the future. Mm. I would say that it's, it's hard to say for young students, and as I say, mm -hmm. always have your feet in two things. Right. So that you can make money, and if it doesn't work on this way, you have always a possibility to go to the other Adaptable. Yeah. And speaking of teaching, I might ask you, uh, your experience here compared to teaching in Germany, uh, have you found any great differences? Oh, yeah. I, I'd kind of like to know what they are. Oh, they have some big differences, you see. One is, let me say this first, your students here have to pay for. Mm -hmm. They are interested to learn. Mm -hmm. They want to spend time which is not 
so much connected with their study. Yeah, number one. In Germany, everything is free. If you, you go to a school, university or so, it's free. You have no to pay for it. And you can spend more time as normally. If you like, mm -hmm. have a nice time in the school. And these students, and this is a big problem in our country, spend a lot of time in your political activities. Mm -hmm. And if you look to a university in Germany, Darmstadt is an exception. We keep them busy. It's a technical mm -hmm. uh, institute as yours here, mm -hmm. so we give them quite a lot of work, homework and so. They don't mm -hmm. have time so much to uh, march behind red flags. Mm -hmm. But we have places like Frankfurt, like Bremen, like Berlin, in which these youngsters spend a lot of time in these political mm -hmm. areas. And also, there are some people from outside who get influence into these groups, into these students' mm -hmm. groups, to, to manipulate the whole thing into one direction, one political direction. Mm -hmm. I have not to say what, which one, you can mm -hmm. think what it is. This is one of the big problems, you see. And if you see the university in Frankfurt, all the slogans on the walls mm -hmm. sprayed or painted, mm -hmm. you wouldn't believe. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't believe. Is the lettering good? <laughs> no, it's, uh, the lettering is also bad. <laughs> the words and the, the political ideas behind <laughs> and the lettering is bad. Yeah. So I feel students are more motivated here for yes, what they're I think they, they are, mm -hmm. of course, if you have to pay for something, you are much more interested to get out right. as much as possible mm -hmm. for your money. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. If you get everything free, I think. Mm. But this we can't change, it is, it's in our, our uh, constitution and so and so, mm -hmm. but let's remember. But the other side is, <coughs> here in this country, you have, especially at RIT, facilities which you don't find in any other place. We have mm -hmm. a few schools in Europe uh, which could be compared with RIT. This is Ecole Estienne in Paris, this is a mm -hmm. Munich uh, school. Uh, of printers, we have in Stuttgart a school, we have in, in, in Copenhagen a school, and we have in Sweden a school, Stockholm. Mm -hmm. But this school, if you compare their equipment with yours here, mm. it's fantastic what they have here. And you can get all this new machinery here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and the other thing is the same is I teach uh, in Darmstadt uh, typography basic typography. Mm -hmm. I can't uh, teach uh, typographic computer programs. This level they don't have. I cannot start in such mm -hmm. a high level. Mm -hmm. you see. This mm -hmm. you can do only here. Mm -hmm. This is your, your luck mm -hmm. that you have people prepared mm -hmm. with a, a good typographic background. And the same, mm -hmm. we have in Darmstadt still metal. And we are happy about this. Mm -hmm. I think they should get dirty fingers first to know how this is put together mm -hmm. and so and so before they step into photo composition. Mm -hmm. But many schools, art schools in Germany, have dropped metal. Mm -hmm. they have a, As they have here too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. But do you think it's all right? No. Yeah. Of course, we still have metal. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think why not go step by step and then you go into mm -hmm. advanced things? Mm -hmm. This is also one of our problems, that we, we want to be modern as possible, mm -hmm. but, but not modern in the, in the right way, I think. Mm -hmm. On the one side, MINDS has no possibility mm -hmm. to teach in uh, computer programs. IBM is around in mm -hmm. MINDS, but they there's don't no get together. Yeah. <laughs> they don't talk to each yeah. other. There's other problems. Yeah. This is political problems. Yeah. But mm -hmm. In general, I think you have here such a fine a, a great possibility for young people to show each equipment they can learn the basic instructions mm -hmm. how it works and uh, we have good people around as teachers no question and uh, also what you have here is uh, the whole structure I think of your school is different from ours mm -hmm. you see uh, which I like here is this nice connection to the faculty. 
in Darmstadt, Darmstadt is an exception in many ways. It's just we are a small group anyhow. But in other schools, art schools, these teachers fight each other, you see. When you say what he is doing is absolutely wrong, <laughs> only sans serif is a new way to go. Yeah. And the other is this is an old-fashioned, traditional way to go. Mm -hmm. Don't follow him. Mm. This is, mm -hmm. I think, and, and besides political differences. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think mm -hmm. if this happens in a school, the poor kids who are between this, mm -hmm. yeah? Yes. You middle. don't have these problems here? No. Mm -hmm. no. no. This, I Not think, is well. one of mm. your great possibilities. Mm -hmm. Of course, the one thing about metal, using that as a base, is it's still a lot easier to teach the difference between an M quad and an N quad and 3M space and so forth, at least get those fundamentals. Well, they got a visual presentation sure. of time. it's there. Yeah, that you can't get from a keyboard. That's, that's yeah, exactly. what I mean. Uh, yes, right. In photo I mean. composition, you, you yeah. see nothing. Right. You tape, <laughs> yeah. you yeah. type, it's and the tape is fed in, yeah. and then you get out right. something. Yeah, if it right. looks as you wanted to get, you are happy. But nobody is supposed not, to know what it looks like. But in metal, at once, you could make correction. Ah, it doesn't look. I put that's more right. space here, and this I could take. I think this is so important to know I first, agree. and then you can go and, and make maybe <laughs> all in, in computer terms, mm -hmm. in a program that you say A plus 5 and program, mm -hmm. or, or how you call it here, uh, what's your term? Oh, I'm sorry. But if you have all these elements, you have not to put it down on paper. Mm -hmm. You can have in your yes. imagination, but you must mm -hmm. have this imagination first trained, best in metal. Yeah, and you of course you can happens? make multiple changes yeah. almost instantaneously. Right. Well, you don't have to do the whole thing, a whole thing over again. Yeah, if you say, yeah. Uh, if you take 10 on 12, or better, you can do it in, in photo composition, 10 on 12 and a half. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But maybe right. you, you make the spacing different and so mm -hmm. and so. If you know this, how it looks in metal, mm -hmm. then you can transfer this into yes. a, a much easier, instead of saying... Make the transition, yeah. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that is always the best way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think they, they, they come back in metal once a day. Mm -hmm. Well, I think uh, we're about to run our term here. And I think uh, RIT has been very fortunate to have you here. And we look forward to having you come back for seminars in other yes, years. No I question. understand you will yes. be back a year from yes. this summer. And if you don't arrange such windows as you did, especially <laughs> last time, <laughs> I hope. I might say I feel very honored to be between the first Carey professor and the second Carey professor. <laughs> yeah, you're in the middle. Very honored you're, the man of, you're the man in the middle. <laughs> it's been well, I'm sure the next one will carry on the same concepts. Oh, yeah. I we think he fits very well in our hole. Right.